APL Talk is an exceptional online educational resource that addresses authentic, optimal health vibrancy through informative discussions to help people and their families live healthier and productive lives. And now your co-host, Carl Titchener and Mary Esther Gilbert. Greetings, everyone, and welcome to this edition of APL Talk. I am Carl Titchener, your co-host with Esther Gilbert, my co-host. And the purpose of this podcast is to present to you APL's AGO product line of all of its 14 formulations. And what you'll learn in this podcast is the combination of all the botanical ingredients in each of these formulations and the specific body system nutritional needs that each of these formulations address. So with that, let me introduce Esther, who's going to get you into the meat of this program. And as you can see on the slide, uh, I've known Esther now for seven years. In fact, she was originally brought on board by me as an assistant coach for a collegiate cross country team that I was coaching because we need a little bit more information and um, presence regarding how to uh, apply nutrition to athletic performance. But she has a bachelor's degree in nutritional science and also a master's degree in holistic nutrition. She's the author of six books and she's also the creator of the True Health Mastery System, Nutritional Synergy System, and Holistic Total Health System, which, by the way, both are trademarked. So she's also the publishing editor, as you can see, and CEO and founder of the True Health Journal. And I mentioned the author of six books, the most recent of which she will be referring to in this podcast, the APL Product Reference Nutritional Health Guide. So with that introduction, I yield the program over to Esther. Thank you, Carl. Hello, everyone. Uh, here we are with another one of our APL Talk videos, and I'm really excited to present the AGO product line to you today and give you uh, a bit of more detailed information about the formulations. So the formulations uh, contain 80 superfood botanicals, and there are over 1,000 different bioflavonoids and phytonutrients, including essential oils, in our formulations. They, uh, the the nutritional factors in the drops are such that they are immediately identified as biologically correct at the human cell membrane. So this is the microcell level we're talking about. So there will be rapid absorption, 100% fully utilized for all of the nutrients they contain. And that's really difficult to achieve in any nutritional supplement and any uh, nutraceutical supplement either uh, also. So we are very thrilled to present to you the technology as to uh, how they are much more utilizable and absorbable by the human body. We have earned the highest industry standard certifications in over 60 countries, and that means the international uh, standards, ISO, and the kosher and halal distinctions. We are all organic, no GMOs, and we oversee the production from uh, overseeing the health of the soil and the seed and the growth of the plants in their development and the optimal harvest times, which is very important for harvesting plants at their optimum potency. So that means that our products are of maximum nutrient potencies. In order to truly manage your health, uh, we must pay attention to the fundamental causes of what makes what it means to truly be healthful. Um, so we must view our body as an ecology, an ecosystem that we must maintain. So uh, in order to be effective in our nutritional health management, we have to prevent the degenerative disease process. And the only way to do that is to realize what goes on inside the body. Our bodies are highly organized systems. They're composed of cells, the micro units of life, and they, uh, this composes all tissues and structures and fluids in the body. The body produces tens of thousands of regulating, monitoring messenger proteins such as hormones, and uh, all these communication systems require the right types of molecules that you must put into your body on a daily basis. Our genetic code, our DNA, the double helix, for instance, contains all the instructions for directing trillions of cellular and therefore system processes. So there is the differentiation of cells and tissues and all of their unique functions that the DNA must distinguish and direct the body to replicate and repair and regenerate. 
So inside of our cells are microscopic cells that we cannot see with the eyes, but can see with specialized micro uh, electronic equipment. We can know what's going on inside the cells. So the cells are the units of life, the building blocks of everything we are composed of. And inside those cells, there is a tremendous amount of biochemical reactions and actions going on. Uh, there is the assembling of molecules, the disassembling of molecules that it absorbs, uh, the repurposing of molecules, replication of the DNA and therefore our cells, and therefore generating uh, constantly new cells and tissues. There is the uh, repair and the energy production that goes on for all of the metabolic actions that occur inside the cells. Um, we have biological reactions that are countless, literally, and science is still uncovering a lot of these pr uh, processes that are going on inside our bodies. So all cells require a full range of essential nutrient factors of molecular precision, and that means that they are biologically correct for our nourishment. So I, I guess we'd call that an ecosystem. All yes, right. we are an ecosystem. We are a, a well-balanced, or we try to make, the body tries to maintain the well-balance of the of its biochemistry at all times, even though it goes out of balance from all of these different input stimuli that we subject our bodies to, either on purpose or we're just in the environment that happens to affect us. Okay. So, what's the best way to ensure complete and correct nourishment to your body? Well, just understand that the body is a biologically, we must, we, must, uh, we must take in biologically compatible molecules, and we must make sure that we are absorbing uh, as much of these nutrient factors as possible so that we can maintain our bodies properly and prevent the degenerative or deteriorating process. Uh, their aging process is, is, uh, must go slowly rather than rapidly, as ha is happening so often today. So we want, we want to strive for 100% utilization in our foods and in our nutritional supplements. And um, after all of the research that I've done on nutritional supplements, then I have found that the drops are the only supplement on the market that allows the body to absorb all of its factors 100%. And that's pretty, uh, pretty difficult to, to accomplish. So the bioavailability and absorbability of these nutrient factors are completely in place. Ex exactly, okay. absolutely. Mm -hmm. And this is what makes this, this uh, line of products so exciting. I rarely endorse products. I have analyzed so many products over my 40 years uh, in this business that I am not very impressed by most supplements out there. It's all about absorbability. It's all about uh, where these nutrient ingredients come from. So we have to make sure we know what goes on in the body and we know what we're putting into the body. And so and, and all that in the compati compatibility with our own cells. Yes, own, it has right. to be 100% compatible with what our DNA looks for mm -hmm. and what it searches for in the way of precision molecules so that it can utilize them optimally to maintain our health. Okay, so um, Thank you. also, um, we have to know about the full range of all the known essential nutrients, all the nutrient factors. So um, phytonutrients, which are plant chemicals, actually, uh, they're huge molecules that the body loves to disassemble and utilize to, uh, to the great extent that it does. And enzyme catalysts, without uh, raw food enzymes, we cannot, uh, the body cannot cannot perform any of its biochemical reactions. Nothing happens without these raw food enzyme catalysts. So we must look at whole food vitamin and mineral complexes, not just synthetic partial uh, vitamins and things like that, or non-absorbable uh, minerals, such as the kind you dig up in the, in the dirt. You know, you grind up rocks, and those, there's minerals in those rocks, of course. But plants take up those minerals, and they transform those minerals so that they're much more absorbable by our human bodies. So we not have to know, we have to also understand what goes on as far as our, our vitamin and mineral intake. Um, there are nine essential amino acids that the body cannot use, and so we get those from our food. Um, so and from those nine essential amino acids, we can manufacture the other 11. So our body, ter in turn, you know, makes about 20 or 22 uh, amino acids, but it needs those nine essential from the foods we take in. And so many times uh, when we don't take in all nine in a day, then we have a, have a lot of biochemical reactions that can actually come to a grinding halt because the body needs those a particular amino acids to build new tissues and cells yeah. and to uh, maintain all, you know, the, all of the systems. 
Um, so we have to avoid all of these distorted molecules out there, processed foods, uh, foods that have been highly uh, heated or, or their molecules just distorted and rearranged into um, configurations that the body cannot understand. And it tries its best to break things down, but it cannot do it very well. It takes a long time and, it, and in the process it causes a lot of uh, inflammatory reactions. And so the body has to produce extra inflammatory proteins to protect against uh, too much damage. But even that, uh, after a time, when the immune system goes awry, uh, then because of lack of nutrients, right? Because of lack of, of uh, taking in all of the nutrient factors every day, then so many things can go wrong in the body. So it's very simple for us to be able to say, okay, here's an array of whole foods and whole food supplements that I can take for my body, but um, we have to make sure that we do this always, all the time, and we can't let up, otherwise things start going very, very wrong very quickly. So uh, the main thing we need to worry about, though, is oxygenation of our tissues, taking in plenty of oxygen and hydration. And uh, other than breathing and drinking water, which is pretty obvious for, for uh, achieving those two very important things, uh, we also need to realize that the foods we take in also contain oxygen and, and uh, hydrating uh, molecules as well. So a lot of high water content food and um, a lot of the, the, the the, the enzymes that we produce in the body and, and take in from raw foods are, allow us to break down food so that we can utilize the oxygen that way as well. And not only that, uh, since plants are able to capture sunlight and store it as energy potential in the form of carbohydrates and fats and uh, some of the, of course, the molecular protein structures contain uh, carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen as well. So our body is able to actually utilize the sun as energy in the form of these types of energy uh, molecules in the food. So that's pretty exciting. <laughs> All right, so... Um, it's good to know that there's more to oxygenation than just breathing. Yes, <laughs> yes, uh, we can get it from our food as well. Not that you want to hold your breath while you're eating, of course, but uh, our body does utilize everything to the fullest extent it possibly can. Right? But even this little piece of information is helpful because, I mean, we take so much for granted, but t as you get into the details yeah. of, of where we also, uh, the body acquires oxygenation and, and through water and breathing, it's a, it's a good thing to understand. Definitely. Thank if you, you know what's going on inside your body, you can actually talk to your molecules and help direct things. Um, don't laugh. There's been a lot of scientific studies to, uh, to support this. So it's, there's more going on inside of our inner universes than we realize. And so the more hmm. we are uh, uh, aware of what's going on, then the more we can communicate with our own system. Okay. So um, with all of this, the body produces energy, and the unit of energy is ATP, adenosine triphosphate. You athletes out there understand ATP because you need it to fuel all of your muscles and all of your activities, but not only that, we need ATP to fuel every single cellular action, every single biochemical reaction and biological process that goes on in the body. So uh, as you see here on the slide, here's a big, uh, well, I should say a colossal blow up of the microscopic cell membrane, and it's a plasma membrane. And on the membrane, there are identifying proteins that can detect whether a molecule that arrives through the circulatory system, it arrives at various uh, cellular sites throughout the uh, whole body system if it is uh, of self or biological, uh, biologically compatible with the human body. So not much gets through that cell membrane. If, it's not, if it doesn't fit with the, the, the puzzle-like pieces that have to fit you know, with the molecular structures that arrive there, then it's not going to allow it in. So if you're taking in foods that have distorted molecules, it's, you're not getting any uh, nourishment out of it. You're not getting any, very, not very much energy is being produced from that. Okay, uh, so anyway, uh, down at the bottom here, we compare the two different types of cells, the plant cell and the human, let's say this is a typical red blood cell because it's shaped round and so many cells in our body systems are not shaped round, roundly like that. So, but inside every single cell in our human body is the uh, genetic code that tells the body what to do, tell the cells what to produce and what to accept and what to generate and what to repair. I mean, everything that happens in the body as far as protecting your health goes on inside of our trillions of cells. And as you can see, when you compare a plant cell with the human cell, 
They have the same organelles. They produce energy. They, um, you know, they just uh, repurpose and rearrange and repair. They do all of the work in, in the body as they do in the plants. So our bodies are very, very compatible with plants. And actually, our DNA can do its repair work by looking at the blueprints in the DNA of plants and do its repair work. So I'm giving you this, this basic um, background as far as trying to give you an idea of what goes on in the body so that you can understand what we have here in the form of the APL drops. So what do nutrient factors do? What in the world are nutrient factors, right? Well, they're more than just vitamins and minerals. They are, like I said before, oxygenation, hydration, sunlight, uh, biocatalyst enzyme actions, phytochemicals or phytonutrients, uh, whole food vitamin complexes, the mineral complexes, and our cellular fuel, uh, which is from proteins, carbohydrates, and fats which we derive from plants and animals who have eaten plants. So it's very important to know these nutrient factors and make sure that you're paying attention and providing your body with all of these molecules. So, um, so why are they so critical to optimal body functioning? Well, um, just to name a few points here, sparked by enzyme catalysts, their nutrient factors perpetuate the actions of trillions of bodily processes every second you're alive, which I've mentioned. Uh, they are the fundamental raw materials your trillions of cells use to fuel and repair and accurately replicate and protect your genetic code of instructions that direct all the actions in all body systems. And they maintain and repair the genetic code of instructions, ensures all cells are correctly intracommunicating and intercommunicating, starting and halting every critical reaction in the body. The nutrient factors also boost the immune system. They recognize and eliminate foreign pathogenic organisms, foreign toxins, and old cells, and many, many more functions. Uh, the nutrient factors also maintain the hormonal and glandular or endocrine system, uh, producing, regulating, monitoring uh, hormones that, that uh, regulate and oversee all of the body systems, including the brain and nerve functions and reproduction. They also, um, when these, well, when these nutrient factors are missing, if you're not providing your body with these uh, nutrient factors every day, many system processes cannot be completed, causing a cascade of reactions that force the body to ultimately malfunction. And over time, chronic missing nutrient factors often lead to various system malfunctions and result in progressively worsening, deteriorating, and degenerative conditions. So these are the 14 formulations that we're proud of in, for APL. Uh, they cover whole body nourishment. All They address the nutritional needs of all the body systems, 100% uh, absorbability. And this is a serious boost for proper cell functioning. And if I could just interrupt just for a minute. Sure. For our audience out there, uh, we've started these podcasts as, as a series uh, dwelling on the teaching learning component of nutrition and how these drops apply to to what we're speaking about here, especially the science behind us. So thank you, Esther. Mm -hmm. Everything that has she has presented to this point is again pieces of the science leading up to this. Now you're going to be able to see the specific applications of these drops for the specific body systems that she will address. And, and the needs that they have. So thank you for that. Absolutely, absolutely. So let's get going on this, huh? This is going to be fun. <laughs> okay, so we have a specialized, spe special patented technology, the Accumulate SA, or Strength Accumulation Microtechnology. It's a patented technology that preserves all the plant nutrient factors to make sure we're not losing any of those nutrients, those very, very important nutrients in these super botanical formulations. Um, so, uh, so in other words, we can preserve all of the essential macro and mic uh, micro mineral elements, the vitamins, the enzymes, the amino acids, the natural sugars, and the fatty acids that are contained in these plant substances. And again, over 1,000 phytonutrients, essential oils, phytochemicals, which is the lifeblood of plants, 100% uh, biocompatibility, uh, correct molecules that recognize, identify, and utilize. Uh, so, you know, we, I, 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 this is why I laid out the groundwork. So this is exactly what this technology actually uh, enhances. Okay, so the, 
Um, the technology itself is actually an impulse uh, electrical force technology that infuses these plant uh, materials that are already very powerful antioxidants, meaning they have extra electrons to donate and neutralize a lot of the toxins and uh, other free radicals that are, are running rampant in the human body. We are exposed to so many toxins every day, whether we uh, nourish ourselves properly or not, we are still bombarded with, uh, it's known to be about 10,000 synthetic chemicals every day in the air, water, in our foods, and things like that. So we, um, of course, there's a lot of mass movements now, thank goodness, that we are working toward to reverse this uh, this toxic world. So we are definitely calling to anyone else out there on board to help uh, do whatever they can to help reduce that and help heal not only the earth, but of course we need the earth to be healthy so that we can have healthy food and we can have healthier lives. So this is what the technology does. It increases the, the antioxidant capacity of all of the botanical materials, um, which helps protect the damaging effects to our genetic code or our DNA. So this is all about protecting uh, the genetic code of life, not just in human DNA, but in uh, the way we raise our foods and the way we raise our animals, and therefore, uh, therefore creating uh, more healthier, uh, healthier ecologies mm -hmm. throughout the world. So it's a very ex extended way uh, to help the world by just focusing on your own uh, inner ecology and making the choices that make a difference. So um, the essay technology, uh, like I said, it neutralizes the cell damaging free radicals and it leads to, the free radicals are, are like I just said, the, all these damaging effects. Um, they're associated with the presence of inflammatory proteins in the body, synthetic chemicals from consumer products in the environment, pesticides, harmful nanoparticles, and other hazardous atmospheric particulates that are now in the air and uh, genetically modified organisms, industrial chemicals, drugs, alcohol, tobacco, the list goes on and on. So we must be conscious of, of preserving our health so that we don't contribute uh, to uh, all the things that harm us. So I have put uh, two uh, products on a page, for the most part, on this. So our first formulation, which Carl will hold up here. Comes in boxes like this. Yes, they're very pretty little boxes. <laughs> and uh, do, can you show them on the sure. inside? They're so beautiful. They are just like these crystallized pearls of different colors. And uh, I will go over the, uh, the ingredients. Look, out. he can't help himself. He's got to have one. <laughs> They're so delicious. And this is this must be the uh, the grape juice, grape skin uh, colored right. uh, candied uh, drops here. All natural, of course. Of course. Right. I'll definitely go over every ingredient on here. Okay, so I'm going to go pretty fast. Um, actually, the book that I'll tell you about at the end of the slideshow gives you a much more in-depth idea of what these botanicals do in the body. But for now, I'm just going to help you familiarize yourself with our botanicals and very briefly pick out a couple of uh, botanicals here and there to, uh, to explain why uh, the company has included them in these specific formulations. So as you can see, uh, I have posted pictures of the different uh, body part or different body systems. And so uh, as I go along, I will address why they're there and what the botanicals do for that particular body system. So the ALT contains the astro I'm going to read them to you very quickly so that you just get a real rapid idea as to what's in the botanicals. So um, the, the ALT contains the astragalus, black currant, eucalyptus, ginger root, grapeseed, green tea leaf, licorice root, mangosteen, pine nut, rowan berry, and skullcap root. Now these botanicals are combined such that uh, a particular aspects of these botanicals will address these the nutritional needs to maintain the cells of these body systems. And that uh, up here is the circulatory system, the uh, respiratory system, the lymph system, uh, and the urinary system. And um, a lot of these, the three of these systems are f or three of, of five of the eliminative channels the body uses to detoxify from all of these toxins that we are exposed to every day. So uh, a lot of these, uh, in fact, every single botanical in all of the formulations do just that. And we have a variety of uh, different aspects of these plants that address ver uh, various uh, 
various needs of these particular systems. So they, uh, these, these plants have an affinity mostly for these systems, but it doesn't mean they don't address the rest of the body systems as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the ALT was designed for, um, the, a lot of people use that for the respiratory health and um, to just to clean out uh, their, their lymph nodes and their urinary system and uh, make sure their circulatory system is, is unobstructed. Right. Okay, so the BRN, or brain as they call it, uh, contains um, nutrients and nutrient factors that are utilized by the nervous system and the brain. Um, they also contain a lot of plants that are utilized by the skeletal system and of course the circulatory system that distributes nutrients everywhere, the digestive system and urinary and lymph and the endocrine system. So all of these systems work together to, uh, to create the, the healthy human organism. And these particular botanicals, and you'd be surprised at the simple, uh, ordinary, everyday apple, there's a, 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 very, a, a lot of um, of science behind the apple. There's been a lot of, of nutritional science been, uh, that has been explored about the apple. So the apple's a very good food, okay? So it may seem simple, but it's actually a superfood. So apple, ashwagandha root, asparagus root, bilberries, and green coffee beans. They're so much healthier than roasted coffee. Um, I don't know what green coffee tastes like, but um, when we utilize the plant materials, uh, especially the cells, the inside of the cells of the coffee green, uh, the green coffee, um, then it, it's quite a, a, con a contributing botanical to your health. Uh, turmeric root is also in there, Damiana leaf, ginger root, great anti-inflammatory, ginkgo leaf, also known for its uh, nutrient uh, factors that improve the uh, brain functioning and nervous system functioning. Uh, ginseng root, the Asian type, and the ginseng root, uh, which is the Siberian, the green tea leaf, magnolia vine fruits, and water hyssop leaf. Uh, the company picked out certain parts of these botanicals to emphasize and uh, bring about more potency to our formulations. So that's two out of 14. The next one uh, contains a lot of ingredients, so I gave it its own slide. It's called the GRW, and we call it GROW because it grows good health. And that's what the box looks like. Is he going to eat uh, one from well, every one of them? I'm so no, jealous. No, I won't, I won't <laughs> do that, but I want to prove to the audience, the listeners, that you can actually put several drops underneath your tongue at oh, one yeah, time. Oh yeah, I take four at once. So, <laughs> so I'm dealing. They're very safe, by the way. So I'm, I'm filling a need for my respiratory system, and now, with those body systems, so <laughs> He's there you go. He's getting inspired. <laughs> there you go. It's an easy thing to do. Oh, it's so uh, high compliant. You know, when you have someone who has uh, nutrient deficiencies and you want them to, to do better things for their health, then they really love this stuff. You know, this, can I have my candy now? <laughs> and parents are giving uh, the candy to their children because it's guilt-free. You know, it's actually and, good and for, for them. And for this podcast, I'm only staying with two All right. because I need to talk. I, right. <laughs> Actually, he was born with the lisp. Uh, the, co the candy just enhances it. So anyway, the GRW, the GROW, contains aloe vera leaf gel and the ashwagandha root, astragalus, balsam pear, which is also known as bitter melon, bilberry, cranberry, currant, husk tomato, which is the ground cherry. There's a lot of different names for this particular berry. And the olive leaf, the pomegranate seed, purple coneflower root, raishi mushroom, and rowan berry. Now this is a combination of botanicals that address all of almost every single body system. Not that it doesn't address the rest of them, but uh, it focuses on, on the, the, the body has a certain affinity for certain um, molecular configurations that are present in these plants. So we've got an anti-inflammatory. Um, as you can see, if you, as you might have noticed though, a lot of these plants are a little bit redundant in some of our formulas, but it doesn't mean they necessarily do the same thing. So they're in synergy with the others, and so they, they perform slightly differently um, in, in the, the various body systems. So we have a, a, the same plant in the same body system, but in combination and in synergy with other botanicals, then it, it performs a, a, a slightly different operation. The body can pick and choose with its hierarchy of needs what exactly needs to be done. So we have a full array of, of items here that will address the, uh, the lymph system, the circulatory, the endocrine, urinary, uh, nervous system, uh, the respiratory system, skeletal, and digestive system. And of course, the digestive system has various, uh, various organs that make up the full digestive system. So we've got 
botanicals that uh, can address the needs of various systems as well. So we have uh, functional nutrients that are performing all of these functions in our cells so that all of these systems will, uh, will be optimized. The GTS is also a great formulation. Um, it also contains the apple and ashwagandha, the Siberian ginseng, the gooseberry, green tea leaf, magnolia vine, uh, fruit, and pineapple, and water hyssop leaf, and that one addresses all of these eight systems. The heart uh, has grapeseed, hawthorn flower, mistletoe, the white uh, mistletoe, the pomegranate seed, the raspberry, and the wild strawberry for addressing these various body systems you see here. And uh, our next formulation is the HEPR, we call it HEPR, and that means uh, liver. So a lot of these botanicals listed here will help detoxify the liver, and there's plenty of scientific data to support the fact that uh, these plants do indeed help uh, in improve the circulatory system and the flow of bile, uh, which is used in digestion and in and, uh, and various uh, biochemicals that are produced during these processes. So it's mostly for the, the liver and the digestive system, and it, uh, it plays a hand in detoxifying uh, the endocrine system, which a lot of synthetic chemicals can, can also um, get stuck in for years. Actually, synthetics, uh, the body finds it very, very difficult to eliminate a lot of these toxic synthetic chemicals that we find everywhere in consumer products, uh, workplace chemicals that we might use, household chemicals, things that are, are, are in the air from industrial pollution, water pollution, chemical pesticide, spray, uh, pesticide sprays in our, in our foods, things like that. So, mm. um, the HEPR is very, very good for, uh, for being able to, uh, actually I should say the botanicals in the HEPR are, are known for helping the body eliminate these, these, uh, these toxic synthetic chemicals. They actually bind to the molecules and uh, help the body eliminate them safely. So these are the different channels that it can do that with. And the ICE, the ICE is, um, again, it's in, uh, these botanicals have an affinity for the digestive system. So if anyone has digestive upsets, this, uh, these set of botanicals work very, very well to uh, neutralize stomach acids without destroying the ecoflora, which is very, very important for digestion. And um, so a lot of these uh, do either repair work at the, um, at the, the tissues that, that line the stomach, li stomach lining tissues, or they will just uh, detoxify, um, they will calm the nervous system down. Uh, the licorice root also regulates blood pressure, um, not regulates like a medication, of course, but it provides the, the nutrient, nutrient substances that allow the body to manufacture the biochemicals that in turn um, help regulate blood pressure, so that's very important as well. Meadow sweet leaf and sea buckthorn thorn berry are also very good for, for just calming down uh, the digestive system and actually helping to digest foods. Our MLS, I consider our star formulation because it has the most botanicals in it and it actually addresses the nutritional needs of every single body system. Um, more so than any other of our formulations. So we have artichoke leaf, carnation seeds, chamomile flower, the German, uh, the German uh, hybrid kind, not hybrid, but the, the German kind, and the cinnamon, uh, excuse me, cinnamon bark, boy, I, I almost said that completely wrong, uh, coriander seed, cranberry, black currant, dandelion root, fenugreek seed, uh, the common type, and the ginger root, grapefruit, licorice root, mandarin, papaya, pine nut, pump, pumpkin seed, uh, purple coneflower root, sweetie, which is a citrus fruit, uh, thyme leaf, and turmeric root. These are anti-inflammatories, detoxifiers, uh, substances that are in these botanicals that uh, actually make sure uh, they go in and repair DNA sequences that might have been damaged. So um, this is our formulation that is just a, a multi-spectrum of, of uh, wonderful and, nutrients. And it makes sense. With all those botanicals, it would make sense that it that would address all those body systems that you're showing on the slide to the right. Absolutely, absolutely. <clears throat> our bodies require nutrition, and uh, these are functional foods, and that's, this is why we're classified as a nutraceutical. Mm -hmm. The NRM uh, contains botanicals that actually help the body uh, regulate its blood sugar better so that, um, and there it is right there. 
I like that blue, it's very pretty. <laughs> uh, in fact, they're all so beautiful, all of them. But yes, this is the norm. Uh, people who uh, say you eat too much sugar and you want to make sure your pancreas is working properly, well, it needs the right types of vitamins and minerals and uh, phytonutrient factors that help regulate all of that. So uh, these botanicals contain these nutrient factors that help bring your blood sugar and uh, help your pancreas uh, understand what to do you know, at the DNA level. So it helps with the instructions in the DNA to make sure that everything is functioning properly. So we have apple, balsam pear fruit, fenugreek salad, the common, uh, Siberian ginseng root, the gumar leaf, the lychee fruit, and Malabar tamarind fruit. Uh, I'd never heard of this before, but when I did the research, you'd, I was overwhelmed by how much research has been done on this uh, little known fruit, as far as I know, in the United States. And I'm going to suspect that some of the audience is salivating right now because <laughs> these drops are absolutely Definitely. delicious. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and knowing that all of these nutrient factors are in those little drops. And that's how small the body has to break down foods in order to fit through that cell membrane to absorb these nutrients. So nutrients are very, very tiny. Okay. So the body has to, uh, if you were to eat all of these fruits and nuts and seeds and herbs, uh, that would be a tremendous amount of foods to take that's in. But... Um, it, and you'd have, you'd have to break them all down to the point where you can utilize them at the cellular level. Well, this has already been done for us. We don't have to digest anything. It's already dissolved in our mouths and it's uh, assimilated through our cell membranes in the mouth and distributed throughout the bloodstream. So it circulates everywhere and the body chooses what needs to be done first uh, all the way down to you know the things that are, are the least uh, important. And that happens to be your connective tissues. You know, the body needs your connective tissues, but it's not, um, it's not life uh, it's threatening or anything. So the body preserves the nervous system and the, um, the brain, of course, uh, the heart, uh, your, your vital organs and things like that. So it has a hierarchy of needs. And so when you take in these, these uh, botanicals, then uh, all those needs will be addressed. We have the, any, any comment there? I no. can tell you want to say no, something. I'm good. Okay. I'm good. And they're dissolving very nicely. Oh, he, oh he's quiet okay. because he's eating. <laughs> he's being nourished. <laughs> okay. Um, we have the RLX formulation, and that is basically a group of botanicals that are known to um, help the body produce the hormones that allow uh, restful, natural sleep. We don't have anything in our formulations that will be a, a sedative or anything like that. Uh, these are not drugs, folks. These are nutrients, and these, these nutrients help our cells function normally, and therefore that translates to better health. So the RLX contains ashwagandha root, banana. Uh, the banana actually was very surprising. Another simple fruit that contains so many uh, wonderful nutrient factors that actually put you in a better mood. So there's phytochemicals in bananas that they don't make you high, but they, uh, they put you in a, uh, in a better mood as far as bringing on the development of hormones that will make you feel better and happier. Okay, so the banana was a surprisingly happy fruit, right? Um, also, we have the relaxing chamomile flower, the German type, uh, the Siberian ginseng root, which is good for so many, so many uh, things. I mean, if you look at the science behind the ginsengs, uh, there is years and years of research as far as everything that, all the body systems that the ginseng may address. So a lettuce, the simple lettuce, another surprising, uh, you know, seemingly benign, I can see dark leafy greens, but uh, the lettuce has quite a bit to offer as well. The passion flower leaf and the pine nut. So we've got nuts and seeds and herbs and fruits um, all combining here together for uh, the maximum amount of uh, nutritional needs for your body. And which, could you go back to just a minute? Sure. So which body systems are they assisting with in this particular? For the RELAX, yes. the RLX? Yes. That would be the nervous system. Okay. Okay. It, uh, it allows the, the system to calm down enough to fire those neurons and communicate from cell to cell, from okay. system to system correctly, rather than misfiring. Like a lot of people take in um, you know, like Red Bull or all these really super high sugar, high caffeine, high synthetic right. chemical drinks, and the body just simply goes into a panic and it tries its best to quickly metabolize and get rid of, it doesn't utilize, and there's no nutrition in any of these crazy drinks that uh, wreak havoc on your nervous system and your, and your brain. And someone might feel super alert for a, a few minutes and then come crashing down when the body finally eliminates all those toxic chemicals, all those, uh, all those incorrect molecules, you know. 
Um, also, the endocrine system. Right. It's important for maintaining the hormones, as I said, to, uh, to maintain that, that homeostasis or biochemical balance. Did I answer your question, Carl? No, thank you. Okay. Thank you. I tend mm -hmm. to go off on tangents here. Um, we also have two wonderful formulations uh, created just for men and for women. Uh, actually, they have some of the same botanicals, so they act differently in the, the female system versus the, the male system. So we don't have uh, plants that are going to change your hormones or anything like that. They are simply going to help your, your, your system uh, since the plants contain all the precursors for all the hormones the body can possibly make, then the body gets to choose as to what is needed first and what is needed, uh, you know, subsequently after that. So the apricot formulation, is, we call the HERS formulation, uh, it also contains the ashwagandha, asparagus, and damiana, ginger root, and ginkgo leaf. So this is a good balance of, of botanicals for all the precursors your, your, the human body, uh, female body needs to maintain proper uh, hormonal balance. And the same for the, the male, uh, the power lemon, would be the ashwagandha as well, damiana, fig, which is unique. It has a lot of um, male-like uh, precursors that are, are known as plant sterols and, and other uh, types of, um, of molecules that actually aid the body, produce the right types of molecules. So those are very good for uh, both men and women, actually. Both men and women contain uh, the different types of reproductive hormones that identify the, the, uh, the sexes, of course. But um, when we take in plants that are, are across the board, uh, the precursors for all the hormones, then the body gets to choose. The body knows what to do. Okay, so uh, the, the ginger root, the ginseng, the Asian ginseng, and lemon and pomegranate seed, again, in combination, they create a synergy that assists the body in creating the right types of a balance of hormones. And as you can see, uh, they address not only the glandular system, but the nervous system, the circulatory system, uh, all the other systems here that have been previously mentioned. So this is a uh, Pretty good deal, you know. I, I actually take both of them um, because I want to make sure that I have a full complement of all of the precursors for all the hormones my body would ever need. Okay, so SLD, which is the slide, I like it. It's very well named because a lot of these botanicals are geared toward allowing movement in between the joints and in between the cartilage, say in the spinal cord or uh, along the neck, you know, everywhere where we have cartilage, um, even the ears, you know, are made of cartilage. Um, connective tissues are made of cartilage. These are all proteins, very important proteins. And since it is the, one of the last uh, priorities in the body, in order to maintain that, we have to nourish it so that the body has plenty of reserves in case it does need extra protein to break down and utilize so it doesn't take so much uh, of the wearing down of our joints and tissues and things like that. So uh, athletes love these. People who have joint uh, issues have found a lot of soothing effects with the anti-inflammatory effects of these botanicals and the, uh, the fact that they can contain a lot of uh, sulfur, which is used in every single cell and every single body system, and is very, very important for, um, for joint health and ease of movement. So these uh, botanicals contain the, the sulfur and many, many other uh, phytochemicals that assist in this process. Did you have a question? No. Oh, okay. Good. All right. Good. I'm getting a sixth sense sometimes that he wants no, to say it, something. Uh, I can't remember. <laughs> oh, he's still <laughs> He keeps popping these things. Great. <laughs> All right, so uh, there's the balsam pear fruit in this formulation, ginger root, anti-inflammatory, grapple <laughs> plant root, a green tea leaf, licorice roots, wild strawberry, and turmeric. These are all fantastic anti-inflammatory foods. Uh, then we have the STP, and that uh, is actually a lot of these plants contain natural salicylic acid type of, of biochemicals. In other words, the body utilizes them safely to tone down the inflammatory effects. Sometimes the body goes into a panic when there are, are when there's something going wrong in the body, and so it tells you in the way of pain and inflammation. Uh, this not only tones down that inflammation that's sometimes not even necessary because the body does go into a panic, but in order to calm that down, you have to nourish. And so these with the that this is what these plants do. They actually do a lot of the cellular nourishment that's required uh, whenever you are in pain to do a lot of the repair work. So uh, again, the science behind every single one of these botanicals is very extensive, and I cover these in detail in the book that I have produced that I will tell you about in a moment. So the STP, or STOP, 
they like to call it stop pain. Um, it doesn't really stop the pain. It actually attenuates and repairs and, and soothes and uh, heals. Okay. That's a good point. Which good is point. Uh, once you're healed, then you have no more pain, right? So this is what these botanicals do. These nutrients are fantastic for healing, uh, the, doing the repair work at the cell level. Ashwagandha, cherry, ginger root. D d I mean, just the thought of cherries just makes me want to go out and grab a handful of fresh cherries. Uh, grappled plant root, licorice root, pod pepper, the cayenne, which is a no very well-known anti-inflammatory, raspberry, and turmeric. So um, the company has put together a variety of botanicals uh, for specific reasons. Now let's talk about the other ingredients. That's where a lot of supplement companies fail to produce a 100% uh, advocate, uh, advocable, is that a word? <laughs> Where I can advocate uh, any nutritional supplement, and most of the time... Well, full disclosure. Uh, right. Yeah, right. full disclosure. Right. Right. Well, not only that, but they just don't choose the right types of ingredients. I mean, they, uh, they are not nourishing. They can sometimes be uh, have inflammatory effects, uh, uh, allergenic effects on some people. Companies are getting better because of the social pressure that consumers are putting on supplements. But even the best of supplements out there um, don't have the technology attached to our drops, so therefore they're not 100% absorbable. And they do use, and even though they use whole food supplements, enzymes, they put a lot of these factors in those tablets or powders, uh, they just don't, um, they don't arrive quite the way our drops do, and they, they don't get 100% absorbed. You know, so, and, and if they have other ingredients in there that are aggravating to the system and even may even hinder the absorption process, then uh, we don't have a, an point. ideal you know, su a supplement, right? Mm -hmm. So our other ingredients are der food derived. There, there's nothing synthetic in there. Uh, we are, we, our flavorings are derived from food sources only. They are kosher, which means they have to conform to the kosher standards, which are even higher than many other standards uh, in the industry. So uh, when, when a company arrives at the kosher distinction, you can be sure and you can be reassured that our products are completely safe and natural. And you, I use the word natural uh, in, in the truest sense of the word because many companies out there are using the term natural and that's too general of a term and it's too ambiguous. It's a marketing ploy pretty much. Yes, it right. is. You know, the people see natural and our definition of natural, we know it's not <clears> synthetic, <throat> right? Uh, so, but uh, that's not always the case out there. But in our case, since they're kosher and we say they are naturally derived, that means they are from food source. Um, the non-GMO organic sweeteners are, that are used are molasses, which is high in, in minerals, especially calcium and magnesium and manganese. And we also use natural plants, uh, carbohydrates, which is the natural sugars present in the fruits and berries. Um, we also use uh, organic cane sugar. This is the only sweetener on the market that will help us help the products crystallize. Um, this is an industry standard. Everyone who produces candies uh, knows that uh, so, uh, cane sugar is the only sugar that will crystallize. And so since uh, we needed something that would be uh, you know, shelf uh, safe and, and uh, but maintain the nutrients inside the drops. So this is the only uh, only thing we'll that we could use. Right and normally, I don't advocate sugar. People eat way too much sugar. But the 1.7 grams in every single drop is more than compensated for by the vitamins and minerals, which att help attenuate blood sugar, and the uh, extensive amounts of phytonutrients and all of these botanicals that also uh, help regulate blood sugar. So uh, know that the body does break down sucrose into glucose and fructose. Fructose is the, the, the sugar in fruits and glucose is our own blood sugar. Um, also, the body can also put those two molecules together, glucose and fructose, and create sucrose and uh, start to build a more complex carbohydrate known as glycogen, which is what the body uses to store in the muscles for future uh, you know, quick energy use, uh, such as quick bursts of muscular uh, challenges and things like that. Um, also, it, it feeds the, the brain, you know, the body can break down uh, sugars at, or build them up to whatever molecule size that, that, that it needs. Uh, so sucrose is easily broken down in two very quick and very simple steps to glucose and fructose. Okay, so now we've got the food-derived colorants. Again, these are food-derived, nothing synthetic. Um, the Food and Drug Administration and other countries have 
uh, numbered these types of, of colorants, so uh, don't worry, they're not synthetic. Okay, so we've got the caramel natural coloring, that's called E150A. Uh, they use natural coffee flavoring, and uh, curcumin, which is from the turmeric root, and that's called E100. Great color extract, the anthocyanin, uh, which is E163, and our paprika extract, which is E160C. So these are the only colorants we use. Uh, some of our, our white drops don't have any colorants in them, but uh, most of them do. We use one preservative, uh, a natural uh, acidifier, to make sure that there are no um, or organisms growing in there uh, or attach themselves to the sugar, you know, kind of thing. So um, these, this is the only uh, preservative that we have to use. And this is a very common preservative that has been used for decades to preserve things like jams and, and other foods. Uh, the body actually makes citric acid. It's, it's part of our energy production cycle to produce ATP. Uh, and uh, they, uh, the FDA calls it E330. So these are the other ingredients. And there is absolutely nothing here that is unsafe or uh, inflammatory or allergenic about them. Isn't that wonderful? Great. It is. Uh, moving on toward closure here, um, this is the nutritional, the APL product reference nutritional health guide that I have authored. I sat down and I did a tremendous amount of research because I wanted us to be aware of all the wonderful things that these botanical nutrient factors do for our bodies. And they are formulated so intelligently in each of our drops. So uh, it's a must have really for anyone who, um, it's an educational business uh, reference tool for our associates and our customers. Our customers are, people out there are, are uh, much more sophisticated and uh, better informed, but there's still a lot of information that, that they have to, to gather from so many different places. It gets confusing and then they end up not getting the whole picture. So the whole picture is in this one 600 page volume that I have uh, put together. So it contains detailed scientific evidence-based monographs describing the health-building, health-protective attributes of the botanical nutrient factors that compose the APL nutraceutical drops. And um, it also has a 217-page, I think it is, convenient encyclopedia compendium of terms uh, for increased understanding of all the scientific terms that you can't just, you can't just avoid. You just can't avoid the, the science of it all. Uh, so uh, just about, I think I've covered every single term that I thought people might want to uh, know, and so I put that in there. Um, so it's a, it, it also contains convenient quick reference product and body systems charts, which are very quick reference. You can tell right away at a glance uh, which formulation addresses the nutritional needs of particular body systems, or you can go to another chart that uh, gives a rundown of uh, all the ingredients in a particular formula, including the other ingredients. So um, these charts are very, very handy. And it also contains a substantial amount of scientific references from all the scientific studies from around the world demonstrating the beneficial, functional, health-improving properties of the various antioxidant, DNA-repairing, and detoxifying nutrient factors of the botanicals in the APL drops. And if you'd like to purchase the hard copy or the ebook, you can go to holisticchoices.com. Um, you probably don't want to write down this whole string, but if you do, it's not that difficult to write down. But mostly you can just go to holisticchoices.com and click on the APL product reference guide link on the left, and it'll take you to the same page. Also, you can visit our APL talk uh, on YouTube. Um, here's one example of one of the videos that we, pr that we produced here at Illusion Studios that um, that talks about more in depth the science behind uh, the making of the book, the authoring of the book, and compiling of everything in it. So it's about, what, a 37 minute video uh, that you can get highly informed about what's in the book and understand the science uh, behind it. Okay, this concludes my part of the presentation. Um, this is brought to you by APL Talk. Uh, again, here's our YouTube logo uh, that you can just type in your search engine on APL Talk uh, at YouTube. Just type in APL Talk exclamation mark. Make sure you put in that exclamation mark. Otherwise, you'll go to a, a sports channel in Afghanistan. Yikes. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> There's a lot of APLs on the internet, but APL talk exclamation mark is what will distinguish you and you'll arrive at our YouTube channel right away. So I'm Mary Esther Gilbert and I'm going to give the floor back to my associate Carl Titchener. And all I want to say is that uh, you should now have much better idea on the combination of all the botanicals that are included in these drops and the body systems that they address. And if I may, um, we've pointed this out on previous podcasts. This is Esther's book that she's referred to. And again, the purpose of all of these podcasts is to take an educational approach to help you understand how our body systems work, the need to apply the nutritional factors that Esther has addressed. And I do want to just, and I, and right, I think I just found right out to it, show you this page because Anytime you want to continue to access this podcast with the incredible information on it about what each of these drops do, it is in concert with her book. So she addresses these again, the body systems and how the nutrient needs of each of our body systems are addressed in her book. So it's a great uh, partner educational assistance, if you will, with these podcasts. And we're so glad that you joined us. And if you want to tell us, tell them how to so, uh, subscribe and like and all that. You're best at that. Yes, uh, back to that last slide here. Uh, you can definitely subscribe to our channel. So go to the uh, the YouTube and in the search box type in APL Talk. I can give you a long string uh, of the URL, but that's, you know, who wants to jot that down? Uh, we're very easy to locate. Actually, I did an, a search on Google last night on APL Talk exclamation mark. And uh, we are the first uh, video that appears there one of the other videos that we did. And so. we thank you for that because the interest is, is pretty clear and we yeah. appreciate that. We know that we're trying to uh, give you some quality information that you can apply for your daily lives. So thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. Good day.